yes friends now let us see coding part related to those constructors of string class and to understand those constructors if we require any methods i will give knowledge about those methods also okay try to focus observe first let us discuss about one constructor called as string constructor which is having no argument okay observe here let it be public string having no arguments okay here they are having implementations getting related to this no argument constructor okay now observe here observe this part if i'm having a class called class called base getting class called base okay now it's having one no argument constructor it's having one no argument constructor now now within the class a i want to create public static void main string array out okay now i want to create object for this base class how hmm, how to create that one simple simple put a new keyword followed by what constructor which constructor is available within this base class that constructor only we have to take currently we have base class constructor having no arguments okay so i'm taking base class constructor having no arguments what happens because of this statement memory allocation will be done by jvm at memory getting okay? now for each and every object there will be unique address that is different address observe here let it be 0x 0001 and approximate integer value to this address is our hash code approximate value to address is our hash code okay let it be approximate value 1 to 3 4 and either address or hash code approximate hexadecimal string is our reference value let it be approximate friends not exact values if you do reverse conversion you should not get these values if you are getting these value means you are exposing address which is similar to old programming languages you should not do that okay now observe so this one has been done and we don't have any instance members to be as data within the object if i write here int a equals to double line and here what is that a equals to double line will be available getting so this code even though you are writing here here even though you are writing that one here here at dot class file observe here dot class file let it be this one as what base dot class file observe here okay dot class file int a just a declaration will be available even though you are writing this statement here you might be getting one doubt hello mr how this a equals to double nine how this a equals to double nine is being as data within the base object how it is being data within the base object we all know one thing about constructor constructor always meant for meant for initializing initializing the object getting 
initializing the object i am initializing the object with a equals to double line if you want much about this construct us i have explained all the things with great mm, with a great in depth as part of whoop concepts just refer that one okay but to understand what i'm going to discuss about this constructor it is more than enough okay observe here now what happens within the constructor you are telling initializing the object now observe here just one second int a equals to double line what is the meaning of this entire statement simple thing int a means declaration getting just int a means it talks about declaration getting guys it is what declaration and assignment operator and double line is what initialization getting initialization within a single line i am performing a declaration and in that statement itself i am performing initialization getting now this can be broken into broken into two parts observe here first uh, declaration getting first uh, declaration later initialization uh, these two steps equivalent to this step only getting first uh, declaration later i am doing what hmm. first uh, declaration later i am doing initialization both are equal i mean both gives the same meaning and at memory uh, they will occupy same same space getting observe here what i am talking what's the meaning of this statement declaration and initialization within the same line getting and this single statement can also be written in two steps are into instructions one is int a just a declaration and a equals to double line observe here here you are using a as the common part here you are using a as the common part okay a a here a is maintaining for declaration section and also for initialization section okay observe here both are same now this is what initializing right this is what now observe within the this is base dot class file what we are discussing here i said that hmm, first i have written the class called base within the class a i want to create base class constructor anything sorry base class object getting i have to create base class object how to create base class object mm, we all know simple thing you have to use new keyword followed by constructor getting so because of new keyword object mm, memory allocation will be done as part of that new keyword only you will get this address and you will get this hash code you will get this reference value now constructor will execute after new keyword only constructor will get execute i said that constructor is meant for initializing the object okay how in which way you are telling that constructor is meant for initializing the object means observe here okay observe here okay still this part is not existed now constructor is going to execute i want only one answer from you guys even you guys are aware of this one just we are exploring we are just getting confidence by knowing the things i mean knowing the things in depth getting now observe when object creation will happen 
at run time waiting at run time by whom by jvm now jvm will execute which file that is jvm can execute only byte code getting our byte code only it can execute who our jvm guys okay our jvm byte code means what our dot class file code only it can execute byte code is available within dot class file only now jvm will execute base dot class file that's why i am discussing about dot class file okay now observe who will generate this uh, dot class file who will generate this dot class file our compiler will generate after compilation only hmm, you will get this dot class file observe at compilation what our compiler will do means it will put this initialization section code friends initialization right initialization this instruction can also be written in this way right observe here okay observe now observe here now a equals to double nine we all know this one represents what initialization getting initialization now this code was written by compiler within constructor now constructor executes when constructor executes this code will be available within the object that's why we spell constructor is meant for initializing the object okay this is the simple reason why we are calling constructor meant for initializing the object okay now this is the dot class file okay this is the dot class file these things happens at the run time and this initialization thing will be available within the dot class file okay what we have understood mm. i have taken one class called base which is having no argument constructor okay now i want to create this base class object within another class called a now observe how to create you have to use compulsory new keyword getting okay? new keyword always gets memory allocation for a particular data type that is our base type so because of new keyword you have you have you have gotten the allocation at memory which is having address hash code and what is this hash code hmm. and this address always varies from 0 0x 0 0 to 0x ff guys okay ff parameters each and every segment will have address from this i mean from this value to this value this is the range of address okay now approximate integer value of address is our hash code and either address or hash code approximate hexadecimal integer value hexadecimal range is what 0 to 9 mm, a to f getting a to f that's why 0 to 9 1 is within the range of uh, 0 to 9 and a a is within the range of a and f so this is what our reference value now constructor executes uh, now constructor executes now what is the code within the constructor jvm will execute only dot class file so it will execute this one now int a equals to double line will be as data within the object getting of course here it will be like a equals to double line 
what is the a type within this one int just for our convenient purpose we are writing this one okay now observe here let me show this one okay i required this knowledge to understand this part string part okay then it will be dead simple cakewalk to you most of the product based companies will focus only on strings only they don't even bother about other things okay now let us see let me show this thing to you okay Abs just a minute let me take a class called base okay observe class base now there is one constructor no argument constructor take int a equals to double line observe this part even though i write this declaration and initialization part within the single line but at our dot class file observe part observe this part friends okay this is my dot java file even though i write this declaration initialization within single line but at our dot class file compiler will separate hello mr compiler is meant for initializing the object so please so please allow me to write this initialization part hmm, within the constructor so it will initialization related code within the constructor okay now observe okay let me show the class file also to you okay observe now create base class object finished okay observe this part now now let me go and compile this piece of code what is the source code file name um, this is what test test dot java now let me put java c test dot java observe successfully compiled okay now observe base class dot class file friends okay now i'm opening that dot class file observe see here our source code within the source code of base class hmm, where is that declaration and initialization ah, i mean how it is it is within the single statement but whereas in dot class file declaration in one line and initialization within the constructor so that's why constructor is meant for what hmm, it is meant for initializing the object observe here the same part what we have discussed okay this is the source file and this is the dot class file okay now observe the same knowledge observe here now within the within the a class i want to create a string class object uh, observe like our base class like our base class string is also what a class a simple class now how to create a string class object Hmm. you have to use new keyword followed by the constructor now observe here why only constructor and why we have to use new observe here this is the rule and this is the convention to us at our java programming language to create an object there should be new keyword followed by followed by constructor that constructor can be no argument constructor or parameterized constructor but this constructor must be available within the class okay what is that new keyword followed by constructor such that this constructor must be available within this uh, within this uh, class okay then only it will be a valid one this is the syntax guys okay whenever jvm encounters this statement it will perform all of these things at memory 
okay now observe now observe how to create string class object here hmm. same thing observe new keyword followed by a new keyword followed by constructor getting new string getting now i'm using no argument constructor what happens because of that one ah, same like our base class an object uh, memory allocation done at i mean memory allocation to an object done by jvm because of new keyword now let it be the address 0 x 0 2 and approximate integer value of this address is our hash code approximate integer value of address is hash code okay let it be 171 okay now either address or either hash code approximate hexadecimal string value is reference value okay observe here let it be 2a approximate not exact now 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 one small thing i want to tell you okay within our string class within our string class within our string this is predefined class friends okay you are having one one variable called value which is in instance variable and which is final getting which is final here final means no need to discuss simple thing before constructor execution completes you have to initialize this value getting final instance means observe here what is that final instance variable getting instance variables must be initialized getting must be initialized before constructor execution completes getting before constructor execution complete if you want much about this final instance variables refer final instance variable session as part of declarations and access modifiers and modifiers unit okay if you want much about this final instance variables refer a declaration and access modifiers modifier session okay there i have spent a lot of time to to analyze this one okay very good unit please uh, refer that one if you want much knowledge about this final instance variables okay now observe now so what is that final instance variables must be initialized before execution complete that's why this is final final instance variable so within this uh, block that is constructor block what is the code simple friends okay simple friends they will initialize this value getting this dot value okay by using this parameter argument uh, variable do you have any parameter variable here no so now this value will be as what null getting null okay now observe now observe this part okay even this is not required here okay now observe what happens within the string class you are having one uh, variable called value its name itself value you can declare value variable no issues okay now its type is what a string once again observe string okay and now it is which type final type variable so final instance variable they should 
mm, final instance variables should get initialized before constructor execution completes okay before constructor execution complete okay so that's why these variables will be mm, initializing within the mm, within the constructor observe here same like this one friends okay here you are having initialization getting i have done initialization if i don't perform initialization what happens huh? jvm will perform initialization with hmm with default values observe here okay with the default value